Nameless T-shirt. How are you? Good to see you. <coughs> How is your day and night going? I'm doing good. Busy as heck, but I'm doing well. I just tried to do another stream and I hit a button on my laptop and it all went to hell. Very much quiet. Yeah, I'm just trying to set something up here. It'll get noisy in a minute. It'll get noisy. Yeah, I went to move my camera and I hit a button and that was the end of that. And then I couldn't get the stream to, it stopped recording, but I couldn't get it to clear on the, um, the stream page. So, took a minute, but I got it. <clears throat> kind of new to the streaming, but... I got a big ouch. Got to figure it out. I got a table here, a table over here on the side. I'm trying to clean up a little bit. I'm on my phone watching you. Yeah, I, you know I can't do it on my phone. I don't know how people. I don't know how people stream on their phone. I don't want to just watch, but I am actually here. See, I am a real person. Just like I said, I'm just moving some stuff around here, trying to get something going on. But I got a lot of stuff to work on and take apart. And I've been streaming pretty much every day. Miss Love. <coughs> I think I streamed till after midnight last night. Got a bunch of people in here just having a good time. For watching me work. I appreciate you watching. I really it um makes the work go faster. That's stainless steel. So I said I just have so much to do and only so many hours in the day. I usually start at about eight o'clock in the morning and I keep going all day until one, two in the morning. I do 14 to 16 hour days every day, seven days a week. So, and it don't seem like I ever get caught up. That's for sure. But I like doing it, so I don't complain. I just gotta move this and make sure I don't hit no button on my laptop or I'll be in trouble again. There we go. I wanna get my workshop cleaned out because I want to rearrange it. It's a little more easy to work out of. Set a place for my uh, camera and all that stuff. I just have all this. Stuff I don't need. It's in my way. Stuff is 
in my way. Put that over here for now. Eileen, good to see you. How are you tonight? I hope you are doing well. I tried to stream a little while ago and I hit a button on my laptop and everything went haywire. But I'm glad you're doing well. That's awesome. I'm trying to clean this little table off real quick. I'm trying to get my shop back in some kind of working order. It gets messy real quick. I had to clean my t-shirt business studio. Cruiser Mac, you made it back. I appreciate it, buddy. I banged my laptop and the stream went crazy. So it's something I shouldn't have hit. So I'm cleaning this little table up real quick. Did you stop in Mickey's last year? Yeah, I was there from the beginning, I mean. Um, I was down here working, so I have um, this TV here I put on, and then my laptop I have for the, uh, the comments and everything, um, in case I have to smack somebody around when they're messing up, because I'm a mod on or thing, so. But yeah, I was there for the whole thing, so for one year anniversary. She is a riot, man. I just I I love to pick on her. But she um she, <laughs> whoops, she checks on me every day. Every day. Oh my goodness. I need somebody to come and <sighs> Clean up this mess for me. I'm gonna take some stuff apart here in a little bit. So I get done with this little mess I got going on here. Everything's laying on the floor. Yeah, Mickey is um She's a, she's one of a kind, that's for sure. One of a kind. Just wish I wish I had her energy. I do, I do. Let's look at that little spot. And put that little table back. Say cooking with gas. <clears throat> put this over here for now. Crisco Domingo, how are you? Good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. Just trying to do a little organization here, real quick. I think I lost the wheel. Good, I'm glad to hear that. 
I like to hear people are doing well. <clears throat> I've been uh, going all day. Mighty Scrapper, good to see you, buddy. How are you doing tonight? Staying out of trouble? Clean this table off a little bit. I got a bag of rubbers. I guess I'm safe, huh? I don't know where it came from, but let me fix that camera. Yeah, mighty scrapper. I uh, I started about eight o'clock this morning. I took about an hour and a half break and haven't stopped yet. I'm still going strong. So. I did a uh, stream last night about this time for about an hour and a half. Got a lot of stuff done. How much you want for those gloves, old man? Eric Lopez, number one, old man. <clears throat> you got that right, though. And you can go to any Home Depot store and buy a pack of gloves like this. Ten pair for $10. Dollar a pair. I bought two packs of them. I'm going to go buy two more packs. Um, they're like a stretchy material on the top. And then this here is rubber. So, I mean, it's real easy to work with. So, you ain't getting my gloves. Go to Home Depot and get some gloves. I got a bunch of cloth gloves you can have. Free. But I've been wearing these for, I don't know, probably about seven days, eight days. I'm actually starting to get a hold of them. But when they're new, look at that. They're nice and shiny. And they fit awesome. They're comfortable. So if you have a Home Depot by you, check it out. They work well. I'm doing good. Broke down lawnmower engine today for cast aluminum. How about you? I um I broke down um table boxes. Um I went through my most of my yard <coughs> and my shop down here and got all the scrap metal out of here, all the aluminum, um, a bunch of uh, old flat screen TVs, just the metal parts. So I have a, uh, I did a video earlier today of what was all in my trailer. So I got that almost loaded up. So I got a few more things I want to throw in it. And I'll probably take it and dump it Wednesday. Maybe tomorrow. We'll see what happens. What is this? You know, it's amazing. I have so much stuff that I don't even know what I have. I don't even know what I, what I got going on. Trying to get stuff situated here so I can do some more. That's a cell phone with a charger. Look at that. Old flip phone. Useless to me. Junk. I don't keep anything, whether it works or not. I don't keep it. So the only other problem I see on this table is right here. I got a little mouse problem. So, but if you ever get my mice, uh, can you take them apart? No, oh, this one never has one. I'll show you something. If you ever get into gold recovery, or just pull the gold out and send it somewhere to get refined, in these mouse pads, or mouse uh, things, pull that wire up with that bucket. But most of them have that center chip right there. 
It has uh, gold on the sides of it. On the legs. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. Mess hall. Mess hall. You got your shoes off, buddy? See the gold right there, Shannon? So, that gold goes all the way through there. So, we take those off. We send them to the refiner and we get a bunch of Got a PS2. Going to strip tomorrow. It is full of gold. I'll tell you what's really full of gold. If you ever get a Wii console, them bad boys got gold in them. Those are a gold mine. They're kind of a pain in the butt to take apart. But here's a little mouse ball. I just, even though this is just like some kind of, I don't know, rubber or something to bounce. Let's see. Not really. But because they're heavy, I just throw them in my shred bucket. You look like you're having a lot of fun. I love doing this stuff. Love it. Um, I've been doing it for almost four years. And when I started, I um, pretty much took anything I could to uh, take apart. And now I just mainly do uh, electro uh, yeah, electronics, like computers and stuff like that. But like I said on that, um, on that uh, chip that was in that mouse. Piece, piece of uh, where was it? This one here? This middle chip? Right there. Get off my screwdriver. This chip right there? So that has the gold on it now. Look at this chip in the center. See how much bigger it is? You can see the gold better on it, too. So these go into a, their own little separate bag. So it's a big, big difference in size, but... I put them separate because they have the gold eggs on them. So, and then the rest of the mouse is just, uh, oh, let's see. Some will be, oh, that's the gold one. Some will be like this. It's just a low grade board. So, I'll just pull that little IC chip off of there. And the rest of it, I'll just throw in my shred pile. Uh, I tell you what, I stripped a mini fridge today and it was full of copper. If you follow me on Insta, you'll see it. I'll check that out for sure, for sure. I kind of got out of doing the appliances and stuff only because it takes up a lot of my time on other stuff. And I have a lot of uh, contacts. So I have pickups like almost every day. Like this week I had three pickups today to do. And my pickups are uh, usually like pallets. You know, it's not just like a couple pieces. So I had three to do today. I got three tomorrow. And then I have two of my computer stores. Um, each of them have three pallets of whatever computer stuff they have. You know, it's usually computers and servers and laptops and hard drives and, you know, all good stuff. So that's kind of why I'm trying to clean this out. I want, I'm supposed to go to Ohio Wednesday. And sell a bunch of this stuff to a board store. <clears throat> so I don't know if I'm going to make it again. I've been trying to go for three weeks. And something always seems to pop up and I can't go. Oh, name was he made it to your computer? There you go. But anything in these things, um, you know, I pretty much scrap it. If it has any value to it, I scrap it. Like, see, that was just a counterweight that was stuck in there. They're, you know, they're shreds. So I pull them out, throw them in the bucket. Every screw I take out of stuff, it's thrown in a bucket. And then in my trailer, I have two 55-gallon plastic uh, drums. And I throw all the old screws and everything in there. And then when I go to scrapyard, I just dump it in the big bin and good to go. It's surprising. How fast that stuff uh, goes up. This one here has a regular IC chip. And it has a gold. A gold leg one. Triple or double bonus. I have a few contacts that live near me now. <laughs> yeah, mighty scrap road. Um, word of mouth, man. Word of mouth. If you get in with a couple of people. And, you know, down the line they'll start saying, you know, somebody they know has something to get rid of. 
well then they throw your name out there um but what you do is you offer um or you know what you can do you can do flyers too but offer free pickup and make sure that you have a um a minimum of items to pick up because you know you don't want to drive five miles for one item so i usually do mine as 10 items or less you know but i mean people can do what they want but you have to think about your you know your time uh the distance you got to go uh you know stuff like that i mean that's how i do it but now i have so many contacts that it don't really matter because you know i'm getting tons of stuff all the time but when i first started out i did a flyer i put a um a business page on facebook and yeah business card but i'm when i started doing this i uh pretty much picked up anything and everything uh for like the first year and i mean i was picking up the old crt tvs the old glass tube ones which are they got good stuff in them but they're really hard to get rid of here um i just paid a guy last year uh, almost six hundred dollars to haul out <coughs> almost 500 of them because um, i can't get rid of them because they're glass thank you girl you go to bed it's past, way past your bedtime I got another 11. I got about another three and a half hours of work, maybe four. Did you hear what I said, Nike girl? Work. W O R K. Did you hear me? You know what that word means? I know sometimes you don't understand. But, you know, I'll help you out. I'll help you. There, yeah, just in case you didn't know. There you go. <laughs> There's the birthday girl, or anniversary girl, or pain in my butt girl. I heard you. Shh. I shush. I was telling Nike girl. She's yelling at me. Tell me to go to bed. Ain't that something? <clears throat> I ain't got time to sleep. I sleep when I'm dead. I lost my little screwdriver in this pile of rubble. Huh. I need that. Thank you, girl. I got your little flip phone here. In case you want to phone a friend. You got the charger. I don't work because I keep throwing it. I got to move it. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. Mickey's probably going to tear her kids up. Boxes apart. She's gonna say, Ewe's Mike said there's gold in there. And you know, mom likes gold. They were taking the PlayStation apart. I don't remember. Maybe they don't lost it. No, it can never stop working. 35 more hours for what, Nike? I want to know. Oh, and over here. Oh, no. On your uh, nose? <clears throat> oh, 
Oh, no. Well, you know, you'll be in our prayers, that's for sure. You'll do fine. You said you've been through a lot. One more thing under your belt. How do you take this apart? And today was Passion's birthday, huh? PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 3. I gave my uh, granddaughter PlayStation 3 about a year ago. <clears throat> and a stack of games. She told me today, she says, I'm bringing you this piece of junk. It don't work no more. I mean, ain't that something? Ungrateful little kid. This is a Wii. A Wii, Wii, Wii. Okay, Wii. I still can't figure out how to get it apart. Yeah, I too a little bit of <clears throat> a little bit of change in her PayPal for just to mess with her. Actually, that's why I hate these weeds. There ain't one screw in this damn thing. Hey, they're nice when you take them apart, but I might have to throw it on the cement floor. Because I found out it works better than my persuader. Hopefully the e-waste contact calls me for a pickup. He did nuclear stuff. Oof. I don't know if I want to mess with that. <laughs> I don't want to come apart. I got all night. All right, I'm throwing it on the floor. Stand by. Hit it on the corner like you do a safe. Ow! That bounced off the shin. Uh-oh. Hey, hey, look at that. See that? That's the middle floor right there, buddy. Now what we got? These screws are the shape of a Y. Safety screws, security screws. So, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see. Or is that a triangle? What is that? Well, that's a triangle, I think. Well, let's try this one. Just to see. Hmm. You need to try it? I don't know. I'm blind. <coughs> I have to get my... Uh... Oh, it's right here. <laughs> get my little jeweler's loop out. I ain't getting no eye hop. I don't know. That is weird. <clears throat> I said an ego waffle, no IHOP. I ain't got time for IHOP. Work. Work it. I don't think I have a bit for this. Can you believe that? 750 million bits. Oh, let's try this little, little one. Hold on. Might get lucky. Um, uh, goodness. Oh, my goodness. From renovation in antique electronics, so it shouldn't make good scrap out. If it's antique electronics, make sure you, uh, you might have, uh, the good gold in it, you know, the older... The older gold, or the older stuff has the older, uh, the gold, it's thicker plated is what it is. <clears throat> Long story short, it's the good stuff. Look at that. Had the right bit. Look at that. Little funky triangle. Oh, 
I'm actually shocked. That it even worked. It's hard to get on there, though. And my blind ass can't see it. <coughs> uh, you think it would be huge? Yeah, you should, I'm sure you're used to it, Nike, but it still sucks to have to go through it all the time like that. You know, you think there'd be something they can do to stop it. But I know it's what it is. I haven't, uh, I said I jumped in passion for a second today. I was kind of on a little break. I didn't even know she was on. But I don't get to go on, um, like JJ's or anybody's. Too much going on, too much going on. Maybe when I hit my one-year anniversary on YouTube, I'll just lose my mind and go visit everybody. If my scrapyard didn't buy my fingers, would you want them? Um, yeah, you got to watch the scrapyard. It's all low ball you. Um, if you look on boardsort.com, um, go, on, go, on, go on their website, and in the top right corner, you'll see a... Spot that says um, price list, I think, and then next it'll say sell material. If you go to price list, it'll give you a list of everything they buy and how much they pay. And I think right now they're paying twenty-five dollars a pound for fingers. <clears throat> but I have no problem, you know, buying them off you. I'm not gonna give you twenty-five dollars a pound because I don't make the money that way. But you know, we'd work something out. I'm a fair guy. I like to see everybody make money on what they got. I don't like to see people lose money. But just just be cautious of the scrapyards because they don't care. You know, they'll screw you in a heartbeat. That's why I only sell to uh, you know e waste companies, companies that only deal with the uh, e waste like board sort. It's taking me 20 minutes to get two pieces of plastic off this damn thing, but I'm getting there now. I can see the guts. Oh, who we got? April Jade. Good to see you. You'll be on YouTube forever. I'm not as cool as you, Mickey. You know? <clears throat> I actually really figured out that if I do this, I get a lot more done. Uh oh, here we go, guys. Oh, a <clears throat> oh, little poop might have came out on that one. I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, I found a screw. Look at that. A couple more screws. I'm not going to hurt myself. I am not a professional. Do not try this at home. Here's my disclaimer. A little bit too late, but I did it. I got you. All right, Mighty Scrapper. Good talking to you, buddy. Um, yeah, just keep doing what you're doing. And I might just stream every, every night about this time. Cause I got nothing else to do. But you have a good night. Don't work too hard. Oh, my goodness. All right. Now we're going into the... I tried to stay busy while you were streaming, Missy. But every now and then I sneak in there and pop in a little link or something. I thought it was funny me and Alex did your link at the same exact time. <laughs> that was pretty cool.
let's do that here. Plastic. I'll probably get this off here. I have to go to my thing and delete that stream before this one. I hit something on my laptop and everything went crazy. YouTube went nuts. That's why I hate doing video games, because these are a pain to do. Total pain. Night Tricks, good to see you. JP4, welcome. How are you? Taking my frustration down on some things here. Mickey got me aggravated. Uh, let's see. To the good stuff. This was <clears throat> this was a Wii video game console. Now it's just a pile of metal. But these do have decent gold in them. If you can get to it without losing your mind. I can't believe everybody telling me to go to bed. Jesus. Little screws. Yeah, I would I would do a TV for the last uh, uh about four days in a row. So I have a whole backyard full and I got a bunch of them in the basement, so I started working on the ones down here. I did a during a stream I was doing. So got quite a bit of them done. But I got a ton more to go. I think I figured out around 500 of them I have. All different shapes and sizes. Makes and models. Um, I'm going to be up for a while, Mickey. Did you have your second dinner? Is it time to take a shower? That's pretty bad. I know your schedule. Nine in chat. Hit the like button. I really didn't pay attention to it. I just appreciate you guys being here. Having dinner now, see? Quarter after 10 in Texas, and you're, you're just eating your second dinner. Second dinner. I had a waffle for my dinner. One waffle. Let go of my ego. And I gave half of it to the dog. So, I had a half an egg. I got robbed on that deal. All right, let's see if this will partially come off. Probably not. What do you see? What do you see the board in these things? Amazing. Amazing, amazing. I got about ten of these to take apart too. My dog likes everything. My dog eats stuff that a dog shouldn't even you would think a dog wouldn't eat. My dog eats bananas. 
shrimp, lobster, cauliflower, broccoli, asparagus, apples. The dog ain't right. And then she knows she always gets uh, the last bite of what I have. If I don't get give it to her, I hear about it. She'll sit there and growl at me and bark at me and carry on. Classic. Mickey fell out the bus again. I don't know. Her and Shannon. Two peas in a pod. Those two. So yeah, I'm gonna show you here in a second why. Uh, I already showed you why I don't like these things because they're real tedious to take apart. But then I'll show you the good reason why. As soon as I can get this, whoo, this screw out, I want to take the screw out because I don't want to. More trash. Miss, my reward is one million, one million better. Reverse. <laughs> one million. Take it out of your retirement fund, Mickey. This is why I don't do these on stream because it takes forever. Alright. I'm going to see if I need to break this off. I'm about over it. Woo. Didn't lose a finger. Alright, got that off. Let's try this side. I'll break the door. You know what? Let's do this side. Let me just do that. Oh no, he lives off. <laughs> NBA, he, he lives off the land, that's for sure. I'm going to go visit that, that guy. One more? Good gosh. Alright. Finally. Come off of there. Come off of there. You wanna come off? No. No. Well, anyway, here's part of the board. But see all the way around that? That's all gold. All that around the edges. Inside the middle here. Take this heat sink off of here. These have a lot of gold on JP, you out? All right, buddy. Thanks for stopping by. Have a good night. Are you having trouble getting that apart? A little bit. A little bit. But these are really hard to take apart. They're uh, they're not easy at all. Um, even the Xboxes. They're kind of crappy to take apart, too. And a good thing about them is you don't have to be gentle with them because they're garbage. So, you know, if you, you break something, it's no big deal. But yeah, I'm having a problem. Nameless. This was a Wii video game, Mickey. Wee 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 all the way home. Got it. So that's the front side. Now I'll take this little 
butt tool here later on. And I'll pop that cap off. The cap is copper. That's all gold. When you flip it over, it's the same thing on that side. All that shiny stuff is gold. Nameless, you're going from your phone to your computer. So, that's what's inside of a Wii. Wii, Wii, Wii. Gold and a headache. So, I'm going to go put this in my gold, gold bucket over here. There you go. And enough of that crap for tonight. I'm going to do a stream. I'm going to go through my gold bucket and sort it out. And, so that's it. So I'm gonna leave that plastic on there and throw that right in my shred pile. And I'm gonna deal with it. This is all metal. I can go in the shred pile. That's extruded a little. <coughs> and this is the uh the disc. That's the other you know, CD-ROM. So I think there's a game in here. Let's find out real quick. CD-ROMs out of computers are like a treasure hunt. Because you never know if there's a disc in them. And video game cartridges are another treasure hunt. You never know if it's in those. So, let's pop this open. Let's see if we got a, an exercise. Or a disc in here. No disc. So, I'll just throw that in the spread pile. I don't take these readers and stuff out because they're just not worth it to me. I think it's got a little weight to it. Let's see something real quick. Not worth the time to do it. There we go. So that's that. I already got a bucket full of metal. Don't work too late. All right, Mickey. Have a good night. I'll make sure to turn my phone off so I don't get none of your messages tomorrow. Happy anniversary. See you when I see you. <clears throat> Not too soon. No. Brush your teeth before bed. Man, she's such a mom. <clears throat> such a mom. Oh, y'all want to see something funny? Look at this. Well, not this, but this is what's inside of CB radio. All right, cool. That's a uh, cool nameless. Act like you still like me. You is, is that too hard to ask? Mickey, take your ass to bed. Get off my stream. Don't send me a message. Just go to bed. Go away. Skadoodle. I was nice enough to you too many times today. I'm over it. I don't want to be nice to you no more. But check this out. Somebody here <laughs> had a bright idea. This looks like a box. Well, if you turn it around, somebody took a cassette player <laughs> and put it in a box. Now, when you open the box, <clears throat> what's in the box? You open up the box and you get a... You got a cassette player, two speakers, and an antenna. Isn't that hilarious? That's somebody that's just bored with life. And nothing better to do. I bet this thing's older than dirt, too. That's pretty funny. But we're going to destroy it. Because that's what we do. We destroy. 
No, I would never do this, Mickey. No. No, no. I'm not that smart to do something like this. This is a uh, this is a genius right here. I did have a uh, an aluminum case, and when I opened it, they had a laptop in it. They had it all recessed in foam, and uh, it was actually pretty cool the way they had it. But I destroyed that too. Good night, Mickey. Make sure you go this time. Don't be lurking. We ain't having it. There we go. So, this is like an easy scrap out right here. Uh, let's see. There's some old speakers in here, too. Cut it out, Mickey. Mickey don't have a butt to twerk. But she'd give it her best shot, I'm sure. I'd pay to see it. I would pay to see it. Mike, what is the hardest thing to take apart? Uh, da, 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 da. I would say probably the uh, the video games, the Xboxes, and that Wii that I just did. And, um, everything else. Computers are, I can take a complete computer apart um, right down to an empty case in less than five minutes. And I do hundreds of those things. I have a uh, 10 by 20 storage unit that is jammed full of computers. And I just haven't had any time or place to do so. This just goes in the garbage. More plastic. And these old speakers. Look at that. So. But yeah, video games are the worst. So these speakers are just, uh, I don't save any of this stuff. This is all just shred steel. <coughs> just here, I'll just cut the wires off. It's an antenna wire. And all of this mess will go into the wire pile. We got a big 55 gallon drum full of wire out of my trailer that I have to take out because I sit on my copper. I don't sell my copper stuff until the price goes way back up where it used to be. And then this here is just a shred. There's really no value in these. I used to have a bunch of car radios. And I don't even know why I had them all. But they all got thrown in the scrap pile, too. So, let me get another scrap bucket. Mickey, I thought your ass went to bed. Yes, I can take a computer apart in less than five minutes. You've seen me do it. Next question. What else we got? Ugh. It's aluminum. Power pack. Well, I can't really do this because it's riveted in there. And that's going to make a whole lot of noise. Might want to Shut your speakers off. Oh, that wasn't bad. Anyway. Ow! See me hit my hand? Let's see a real man keep working, though. Keep that speaker on, Mickey. hit my 
my hand. It kind of hurts. <laughs> Mickey twerking. Alright, and one more. I think I broke my tool. Alright. Look at that. Shortened up my handle. You know what? That's cool though. That'll work better. I can use this for taking all these chips off of these boards now. We got a ton of these. Pulp five and ones. Alright, so there's a nice piece of sheet aluminum. And that's what's in there. Two batteries. I'm so used to hitting my hands and stuff and get used to it. If I didn't have the gloves on, probably would have hurt a little bit more. But it's all good. I just keep going. I did a uh, stream, I think, last week, maybe the week before, and my fingers, I just kind of look like ground hamburger. They're all busted up, cut up. But it's part of the job. If you're afraid to bleed, let the job feel. So that there is aluminum. That's aluminum. So that goes in my trailer. For tomorrow and I have two batteries here so what I do with these batteries is my neighbor is a ham radio operator and he's always building stuff so he'll test these if they work if they work I'll give them to him food mystery how are you and if they don't work I just throw them in a the scrap pile with the rest of them so I'm going to set these over here so I remember to have him look at these and quick fast. What's the e-waste tip for me today? The e-waste tip for today is don't take a hammer and hit your hand like I just did. That's the tip for today. Unless you want to. You know. But I don't, I don't advise it. Let's get this off of here. I think this is like another battery backup or something. No. This is all stuff that's like buried way in the back that I'm trying to sort through that I've had for oh a year or more. Easily back there. It's all back there. It was actually uh it was all in this tub. <laughs> so I'm down to the nitty gritty in this tub. A lot of it's just like old. This is stuff from when I started years ago. I okay, still. So I appreciate a food mystery very much. Oh, yeah. I, I whack myself all the time. It's like self torture. You know, I deal with Mickey all the time. So. But this is all stuff that I, um, I started with back in the day. And. I'm actually, it's like in here, like at the bottom, so there's like a ton of these chips. These are um, uh, flat packs. These have a lot of gold kind of content into them. But I didn't have a refiner back then because I didn't know what the hell I was doing. But now that I have a whole bunch of lean in the bottom of this thing, uh, I'm more, I'm more to add to it. Even fuses, I, I cut these off. Tips are uh, brass, and then there's a copper rod that goes through them. That's what I used to do back in when I started. Crazy stuff like that. There's a piece of brass. That would hit my brass bucket. But remote controls, old crappy phones, Nintendo DS. I think I've been through the, through the mirror. No. This is like a polarity tester. Checking current, but 
got a little crazy stuff in here. Even got some little uh, kids' toys. Cameras. I used to get to take the cameras. And pretty much gave up on all that stuff. So a lot of that will even. I have no idea. I was probably his brass tip. Probably what I wanted back in the day. But it's just a lot of weird stuff I used to collect. I used to work for a uh, dad that had uh, rentals. So anytime somebody would move out and get evicted, if they had something electronic, I always grabbed it. But a lot of it has gone to the wayside now. All right, how does this open? Mike, would you? <laughs> nah, I, I drop stuff on my hands all the time. I'm an old guy, so I better start being more careful or I'm just going to fall apart one day. So this is a plastic cover, and this is another battery backup. So once again, I'll have my neighbor check that. If it's good, I'll give it to them. If it's bad, they go to the scrapyard. So pretty much the only thing in here is two wires. Everyday hardware. Uh, food mystery, I'll show you. Uh, you came in. I took apart a, a Wii video game. And um, I'll show you the board that came out of it. All it is is a circuit board and a uh, CD-ROM, you know, reader for the disc. So, yeah, so this is, these are low-grade boards, but they're called uh, power boards. So the trick with these is... They don't have much value. Um, there's two ways I can do these. I can do them. Like I said, even a little piece of wire. You know, I take it off and uh, I don't even know where my camera is. There it is. I take it off and I throw it in a bucket. So it all adds up. But um, these boards here are just they're called just a low grade board. Um, there's nothing really valuable on them, but if you want to, uh, oh, there's another screw. That's the other trick with this stuff. There's always a screw hidden somewhere. Now you got me looking on this one. I don't see one on that one. And there's one in there somewhere. Where are you? Where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, no. Come on. Northern California. Union rated, union rated game gamers. Good to see you. Appreciate you dropping in. I wish I was in Northern California because I'm tired of this weather. Why won't this come out of here? Anybody? Anybody got a clue? Alright. Yeah, so that's just a low grade board. This one is the same thing. I have a recycling license and I can't recycle plastic. Believe that? Sad. I'm doing really good, underrated gamers. Um, busy, busy, busy. I've been at this for 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 hours working today so far. Um, I average between 10 and 16 hours a day, depending on how I feel and how energetic I am, but... 
I don't mind this. So anyway, so this is a low grade board too. I can sell this board just like this. I always take the wire off though. So if I cut these little wires off, you cut that thing off. This board is only 14 cents a pound. So I have thousands of these boards, these low grade boards. But the trick is I can take off I can take off this copper spool right here. I can take off that copper spool there. I can take off that chip, that chip, and this deal here. This is called a Moffet. Um, it's actually got copper underneath the plastic. I'll tell you a little story on those too. So I can take those three things off, four things off. And still sell this as a low-grade board. So I can still get 14 cents a pound. But now I'm gaining some number two copper. And, well, yeah. And this chip here, I just throw in my uh, basket with the other IC chips. And I send those to a refiner when I get about 30, 40 pounds of them. And he takes the uh, gold off them for me. This one here is the same thing. I'll take these two little motor deals off. I'll take this here off. This is uh, aluminum. And then there's another motor underneath that. I can pull that off and still sell the board for 14 cents a pound. But this aluminum here is 28 cents a pound. Number two, copper is $1.98 a pound. So, you know, I still make a little, little bit of money on those. So I can get three things out of one thing. But these guys here are, these are called Moffets. They actually, uh, they mount onto the heat sink. Something with the heat. Let's see how that one's screwed on there. Right there. So, they do something with the heat of the board. So, they just screw on. And it, see how easy that is to uh, yeah, screw that. But see how easy that just breaks off? So, that's just like sheet aluminum. But, um, look at that little piece that I had. But those Moffets are can't sell them as copper because they have the plastic coating on them. On my head. But if you take a hammer and you hit them, I lost the one I hit. That's terrible. But if you take a hammer and hit them, you can knock that piece of plastic off of there. And uh, here's a better example. This is the same thing, just a bigger one. So you have the plastic on there. And then that side, it's shiny. So this side is um, Food Mystery. Take care. Thanks for coming in. Greatly appreciate it. Um, so this is copper. But I can sell. They won't take it. They won't take it as shred. You know, you throw it in your shred steel pile. So what I do, I got a, <clears throat> a cat litter bucket. It's like 70 pounds of these. So this is six cents a pound because I can't sell it as nothing but shred steel. So if I take a hammer and I go like that and knock that plastic off, now it's a dollar thirty eight. Isn't that crazy? So I gotta find a dummy that could, could use a hammer and not smash his fingers. And knock all that plastic out. And I mean, that's pretty heavy. You know, it's, it's thick. You know, it's, it's, but they're all different sizes. But that's the story with those. It's just one of the little, you know, one of the things you learn doing this stuff. One of the, uh, one of the tricks. What is this thing? Wireless speaker. Huh. I'm going to take it apart and see what makes it tick. As soon as I find the right tool, it's a torch head. That was a lucky guess on picking the tool. Lucky guess.
Nameless, I don't know if I'm still in here, but have a good night, buddy. In pretty good shape, probably worked. Ouch. Aha, uh -huh. screw under the pads. Sneaky, sneaky. Those screws are a pain. Time consuming. Yeah, let's see this one. Come on now. Ah, oh, there we go. So there's the speaker. Plastic. Let's see what happens here. Speaker, put the wire out of that. There's like a bunch of wire in there. Why? But <laughs> and then you get to the circuit board. more screws. Speaker suck.
many screws. Ripped its guts out. Now we've got three screws. Get the circuit board out of here. One. Hmm. Can I get to the other one? Maybe. Boy is out. I'll just cut these wires. Put that one out. And the rest of this is crap. Garbage. This boy got a little bold on it. Hmm. 
Zong RV, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. You're just taking a montage of different stuff apart. If I didn't look up, I would have forgot I was a uh, live stream. I'm pretty focused on what I'm doing here. So. Oh, I went Thanks, I appreciate that very, very much. Oh, what we got here? What do we got here? I'm taking apart stuff that I had from day one when I started doing this stuff, which was three years ago. So, trying to clean out the inventory, make some room. I got buckets and buckets of this stuff. And I want it to go away. Up so all the screws are breaking. Look at that. Wow. That's funny. All right, let's see what we got. Screws way down in there. I've been working 17 hours straight. Well, I took a half hour. Break. I don't know what this is. Um, it says file save. Slide card two. So I'm not sure what it is. Let's say I've had this thing for years. So I have no idea what it is. I have a lot of stuff back there. I don't know what the hell it is. I'll find out in a minute though. Rid of the plastic. So I have no idea what this is, sir. I can actually say I've never seen nothing that looks like this. The computer is upstairs going crazy, I can hear it. But it looks like it's uh I have no idea. No idea at all. Pretty strange. This is all die cast. It has like a I don't know, it's kind of like a brass reader head or something on it. 
I have no idea. I'm more interested in the board. Um, it looks like it said it's like some kind of hard drive because this is pretty much a logic board. So I have no idea what that was. So I said that's why I like doing this because I find stuff I have no idea what it is. Whoop, dropped that somewhere. Yeah, this is a, a logic board, so I got a hard drive. So I'm going to pop a couple little goodies off of it, I see. And I'll put this in my box. Um, I get $8.50 a pound for these. I have a tote sitting over there. i got about 700 hours worth of these in it. So, yeah, that was a good find. It's definitely a logic board. And where's the other part of it? Right here. And then these here, this ribbon wire, I'll cut these ends off. <clears throat> I have 40 pounds of these plugs. That's a lot of plugs for 40 pounds. Uh, I get 60 cents a pound for those. So I cut all them off. I put them in bags. <clears throat> right there. And they're missing forward. Let's see. Cut that wire off. Drummer family. In a bedtime for you? Everybody else went to bed. I'm on hour 17 of working. Don't know when I'm going to stop. This has some goodies on it, so I'll, I'll work on that one on another day. I'm going to go put this where it belongs. Um, it is five minutes past midnight here, and I usually work till two or three in the morning. I started at eight o'clock this morning. I took like a half hour break, but I got lots to do, and unless you're going to come and do this, then I have to do it. I'll put that on the side and work on that later, too. Look at this. Let me see. Let's see. When were you coming with us? <laughs> Good track of it. I don't want to come to California. No California. I used to go to Vegas three times a year and I got burned out doing that, so I don't even go to Vegas anymore. Yeah, my hand is stuck inside here. But I hurt a little bit. Just a little bit. When will you come watch our vlogs? Um, who's asking, Maria or George? And Maria don't say George either, because I know better. I have to stop working and literally sit down and catch up on a ton of people's stuff. I have been totally swamped for like three weeks. Yeah, okay, Maria. Me and George. I ain't falling for that trick. I didn't just get off the boat. Good try, though. I'll give you that. <clears throat> George is sleeping. George is an old man. Let's see. It's, uh,. What, about 8 o'clock there? Yeah, past George's bedtime. 
But I will check them out. I will comment on them so you know. I've just been on a I've been on a mission the last couple weeks. I got a bunch of stuff I have to take to Ohio uh, to sell. Uh, I've been trying to do that for this is week three, and I was gonna go Wednesday, but I got a bunch of stuff I gotta handle. So I don't know if I'll be able to even go this week. Oh, hold telephone. You ever see what's inside one of these? All it is is a weight piece of metal. No, leave us a comment. Come on. I said I'll comment on your blog things. I got like four Mickey's videos I haven't even watched. That's all I was doing on the old phones. <clears throat> Whoa, that's it. Just a piece of metal to weigh it down. It ain't George. I'm not believing that. If it's George, say something that only, uh, oh, never mind, because Maria knows all that stuff, too. All right. I'll, I'll believe y'all say it's George. It ain't George, though. I will watch your vlog, George. I promise. If you give me that beaded hat. That's the trade. And George is going to say, come on, man. That's Maria. Busted. Busted, busted, busted. You just got caught. Fifty bucks. You paying me? Is that what that is? How many vlog videos do you have that I missed? Is my next question. How many vlog videos did you make? And I have to watch. So, you want to do the math or do you want me to do the math? 50 bucks times 10? Um, you can go on my channel, click on my PayPal, and deposit that in there. And I'll stop what I'm doing and go watch them all night. How's that? Ooh, there's some gold in here. Hey, hey. I like the gold. And I don't want no damn pesos either. I want American currency. And we gotta be slick. Pesos ain't no good around here. Go, 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 go. So as I write, is it 8 o'clock there? 10 after 8? Peso P P Peso Didn't say nothing else Bunch of funny people Funny people I was about to say, come on, honey, and kiss me. 
Yeah, well, guess what, Maria? It ain't happening. You put that money in my PayPal yet so I can go watch your vlogs? Did you? Did you? Did you? Where's my money? I promise I'll watch him. I'll even put nice comments on there. Fifty dollars a vlog. Twenty five hundred bucks. George. <laughs> Jorge, whatever the hell your name is. You got too many names, son. Ouch. You'll start late because you need to go get that money. Or did you give it to Mickey for being on YouTube for a year? That girl ain't right either. I must have drank about 10, 10 of these today. I'm watered out. Maria, Maria. This is Maria. This is Ewey's mic. Oh, tragic. Maria, Maria, trying to bamboozle me. <clears throat> I'm not going to sing the Farmer's Own song either, so. That's $1,000. Late Night Entertainment. Nintendo DS game. Look at this. I don't think I've ever taken one of these apart. I got a bunch of them. This thing looks like it ran over by a truck. But check that out. Oh, there's a screw in there. That's messed up. That shows how much you like my wife. <laughs> I love your wife because she don't scream in my ear. Well, I can see the little writing on the wall there. You know, I got to pick on all of you. Blame Mickey for it. She started the mess. So, George, you going to send me that hat or what? I'll buy it off you. How many pesos? SA. Why won't this come apart? Yeah, I figured that. Maria. I ain't scared. See? I ain't asking for no kisses, you freak. What's wrong with you? What is wrong with you? One Nintendo DS. Destroy. Look at that. Look at that. Got that gold on there? Got that shiny stuff? Gold. Gold, gold. Truth kisses. Oh, God.
pass on those either. Lost my tool. I need to go eat dinner. That's what I need to do. Before my old ass falls out. I'm on a diet, so I don't eat no more. I eat like once a day. Maybe twice a day. Whoa! I don't miss anybody. Nobody. Nobody, nobody. Start me on. Bad sign. That's a bad, bad sign. Bad part is, I'll go to bed and get up at 6 o'clock. Be back down here at 7, doing the same thing. I lost my tool. Well, damn. I lost the tool. No, I can't do this. Right in front of me, too. Hey, I'm going to finish this up and just call it a night. I knew there had to be a catch.
No, I ain't almost done. I need to be though, but I ain't. I'm gonna shut the thing down in a minute, probably. But I still got. It's 12:25 a.m. here. I still got another two hours. About 2:30, my time. I'll call it quits. Go to bed. Get up at 6:30. Back down here by 7:30. Uh, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 and a half hours I've been working today. Trying to get rid of me. Yeah. You better have my money to watch your vlogs. That's all I got to say. Making my money. <laughs> Mickey money. Mickey money. I do it every day. Every day. I go between 10, 16 hours a day. Seven days a week. Today is just a little longer. I ain't really tired, but. I'm an old man, so you know, I have to, uh. Have to stop sometime, I guess. Don't really want to. Too much to do. I am old. I'm old enough to be your daddy. Maybe I am your daddy. I don't know. I really be old when I start peeing on myself. Oh, wait a minute. Never mind. That's a cool little tool. Put phone with a charger in it. Not no more. Keep watching, you might learn something. Look at that. That's cool shit. <clears throat> Put your nipple in there. Woo! Boy. Let me try. I better not. I might like it. Oh, my bench is all jacked up. Let me pop this stuff on the real quick. No, I've got a long, long way to go for hours. I don't really care about that. I'm just going to do it. 
But my hours are a long way away. I must be getting tired. I just threw a piece of wire in the garbage. That's usually a sign. So, I've been helping uh, Mountain Bushcrafters. I've been running all his playlists for days, trying to get him. So, see that? That's what's inside his cell phone. See all the shiny on there? That's all gold. Gold. I said gold. Gold, gold, gold. See it? See it? Oh. You broke my phone. I don't really want to be monetized anyway. I really need it. I figure I'll get my, uh, however many hours it is, maybe in October. Maybe. I guess I'll call it a day. I got more though. A whole bucket of them. Uh, let's see. Battery. Who the hell is sending me a message at 12 30 in the morning? Inquiring minds want to know.
Smiling ass people. Wrong with you. Alright, that's that. Now, do I want to keep working or do I want to call it a day? I still have a little bucket to go. Here's a little toy for George. It's educational. That close to quitting. That close. Okay, George's. Why, 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 yeah? Am I saying that right? Probably not. Well, where? Either way. Appreciate you stopping by. Thank you very much. Oh my God, too many smiley faces. There. Happy, happy people. Just taking some stuff apart. Getting ready to call it a day. I think 17 and a half hours is enough for this. Wawea? Wawea? Is that right? Is that an Indian name? I'm going to put you on the thing here and check your channel out when I'm done here. The camera. There we go. Algonquin, okay. I know a lot of the Indian names because I grew up in Pennsylvania, uh, southeast or er, northeast Pennsylvania. So there was a lot of Indian names: Makinakwa and uh, Wapwalapin, Susquehanna. Some of the Indian names are pretty cool. Quebec on Canada? Oh, yeah. I have a friend that lives in... Oh, what's the name of the place? I don't know how far it is from you. It's short for a funny situation. <laughs> That's awesome. Where does he live at? Thornsby? And I don't know, you know where Providence he's in. So it's kind of like a little town. No, I live in um Michigan now. I moved from Pennsylvania to Michigan when I was 18. And I'm going to be 55. And I never went back when I left. I grew up in the mountains and could not wait to be old enough to move. And I had family that lived out here in Michigan and I moved out here with them. And I say, how's it? Never went back.
So I've been here quite a while. Quite a while. I'm thinking it might be in Ontario. Um, I'll have to check. He has a uh, a YouTube channel. It's um uh his name is Marcel Saint Jean. He used to live in uh, Sunbury. Then he moved to uh, Thorns Thornsby. Sunbury. Uh, I'm not even sure what Providence that's in. I got a lot. Of, I know a lot of people that live in Canada. It's just, and I'm actually only um, about ten minutes from the Canadian border. Uh, Windsor. Windsor, Ontario. I almost throw a rock across the, the river and hit it. If I ever moved again, I'd want to move to Canada or Australia. And Australia's got a lot of crazy bugs and stuff, but I still go. getting to the point now. I'm getting tired of the winters. Yeah, it's by Thunder Bay. Yep. Sure is. Oh. That's good. Yeah, I think working 17 hours today is just about enough for me. Get one, two, three, four, five, about six hours sleep and we'll be right back doing it again tomorrow. Uh Sunbury Ontario might be Thunder Bay. Yeah, Thor Sunbury Sunbury is in uh, Ontario. Is a Thunder Thunder Bay, Thunder Bay. Thornsby, I'm not sure. Ooh. What is this thing? Else I'm gonna play with here. I think I'm about worked out for today. Uh, take this apart real quick. This I have no idea. XM radio, what this is. But I have a uh, recycling business. Um, I recycle computer, anything electronic. So at night, about 10 o'clock Eastern time, um, I usually do a stream, and sometimes I do them during the day, just taking different things apart. I got a lot of young guys that are want to get into this, so I'm trying to tell them the do's and the don'ts, you know, whether they listen or not, it's another story, but you seem like they're all good guys. Oh, we had a beautiful weather, from blue sky, and uh, a little windy, a little windy, but we'll probably getting rain the next couple of days now. Huh? I'm over the snow. You can, you can keep all that snow. Don't want the snow no more. <laughs> so, yeah, this business keeps me busy. I have so much stuff that I have to get scrapped out. I don't save anything that even if it works. Um, a lot of the electronics uh, here's a good case in point is them little dots up on top right there. These are actually gold plated. So I take the gold off of them. Uh, this one here is the same thing. This is actually a, a cell phone. So I go mainly after the gold um, on the back side of this one. You can see a lot of the gold on there. 
So all this that you see is gold, all that shiny stuff. So I take all that and I get the gold off of it. And then this is out of like a converter box or like a cable box. I collect every metal I can get. But like these chips here, these have gold inside them. So I take all these off. I get 20 or 30 pounds of them. I send them to a refiner and he gets the gold out of them for me. And then all these yellow things are tantalums. And these pay $20.50 a pound. So I have a bucket of them here. This is about five pounds. So when that bucket's filled up, I will uh, cash it in. So it's all kinds of little things on these. Uh, the more you know, the more money you make, and the better off you are. But I mainly collect... Um, I sit on all my copper. I keep all my copper until the prices go up because prices are all kind of low now. So copper, aluminum, brass, uh, steel. I get a lot of the, the steel from like the cable boxes, you know. Um, die cast, and then I call my circuit boards. You know, I. I cut a lot of this stuff off. Like, all these plugs I'll take off because I sell them separate. I sell the, the chips separate. So, it's just uh, some montage of things. All the little ribbon wires that are inside this the converter boxes and stuff. At the very end, I don't know if you'll be able to see that. But it has gold on it. So, yeah, they quit making pennies in Canada. So I have some. They're supposed to do it here in the U.S. Um, so any penny that is 1982 or earlier is 95% copper. So there's a lot of people that are um, collecting them, storing them up. But they've been talking about getting rid of the penny here for years, and you know, there's, there's <laughs> it's still here. But um, there was actually um, I was just reading in a paper that um, a guy was melting them down and selling them to the scrapyards and he went to jail for that because it's illegal to do. You can't melt currency. Um, my copper, aluminum, brass, I sell to my local scrapyard who I, I also have a, a contract with them. I buy all their computers and e-waste laptops, all that stuff. And then I... This stuff here, um, I sell to a company in Ohio, which I have a big load I have to take. I seen a video on some forums I buy. Yeah, that is called um, um, what the hell is it called now? Coin hunting. Is what they call it. Yeah, I used to do the uh, uh, the fifty cent pieces a while ago for the silver and uh, and the dimes. You know, I used to find quite a few. Um, I haven't done it in a couple years though, but we used to buy a box. Me and my buddy would go in on a box of uh, fifty cent pieces, which was five hundred dollars. Yeah, we need two two fifty and. We had one good one good box. We got quite a few out of it. So coin hunting is yeah, it's an interesting thing to do. I say I used to do it and I just don't have time because my business now just keeps me busy doing this. So maybe if it ever slows down. I'm usually slow in the winter time, but last winter I was just uh I was swamped, so I didn't have time to do anything I really wanted to do. Yeah, they're uh, half dollar coins. <clears throat> um, 64 and earlier are, I think, 95% copper. Um, 65s are, I think, 70%. And 66 and 67s, I think, are uh, either 60% or 50%. And then anything you know older than that, 
68 and higher is just it's like copper and whatever else they made them out of at the time. They're not pure silver. But you can find some good ones. You can definitely find some good ones. So. So. Oh, well. All right. Well, it was really nice talking to you. I'm going to call it a night. I've been streaming for about two hours and 17 minutes, and it's 1 a.m. So I'm going to get ready and call it a night and get some rest and be back here in the morning. Uh, I might do a stream in the morning, so if you're around, that'd be cool. From 1800 from an old house. Wow. But like I said, it was nice talking to you. I'm going to check out your channel here as soon as I close this down. And I will talk to you all later on. Have a good night. Thanks for coming.